hey everyone, Dave Prowse passed away and it reminds me of a story that I covered in 2010 when I was blogging over at SF Gate, the City Brights air section. And I broke this Star Wars Dave Prowse band from Comic-Con Star Wars fan days. So it reads as follows in the in this Comic-Con update, 75-year-old Dave Prowse, who was the body behind Darth Vader in the Star Wars movie series, has been banned. That's right, banned from Comic-Con's Star Wars fan days, as his Darth Vader website put it. And that language is no longer there, by the way. It is with regret that I have been informed by my friends at C2 Ventures Ben and Philip, that I am not to be invited to C5 this year or any other Lucasfilm associated events. After inquiring, the only thing I have been told is that I have, quote, burnt too many bridges between Lucasfilm and myself. No other reason given. I have also been advised by the promoter of Paris Magna in September that LFL have requested no photo opportunities with the 501 Squadron, even though I am commander and chief of the 501. Sincere apologies to all my fans who are hoping to meet with me. I shall miss you too. As you will see from my events page, I will be, be at many conventions all over the world so we can Still keep in touch. And then I wrote, an actor Dave Prowse Facebook page explained the Comic-Con information in more detail. Updated Dave's appearances schedule on his official website. Dave is not appearing at Dragon Con, Chicago Comic-Con, Star Wars Fan Days, or the shows in Glasgow and Montreal. Dave has added new shows, including his rescheduled trip to Turkey. And then I wrote, wow, curious to know just what Darth Vader did to burn bridges with Lucasfilm. Speculation runs rampant and Lucasfilm's not talking. But this comment over at Blaster.com was provocative. When it comes to burning bridges, I assume that Lucasfilm wouldn't be very happy with a story I've heard Prowse tell a couple of times along the lines that he thought he was going to to do the voice of Darth Vader and that James Earl Jones was only hired to appeal to appeal to the black audience. I think Prowse walked back from that a bit later on, but maybe he's been taking telling accusatory versions of it again. And then I wrote this. I can't see George Lucas making that stupid an assumption about the black audience. And that take on Prowse part is rather racist. My insider information is that George thought he needed a more menacing voice than this one. The simple fact is Darth Vader is supposed to sound like someone who can crush you with a thought and not like someone who would beat you with a wet noodle. At any rate, he's out of Comic-Con. Stay tuned. So there's the story, folks. Um, straight from, uh, 2010, July 15th, when I was on SF Gate City Brights as a blogger and still own Zenny62.com, now Zenny62 Media. See you later.